Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm excited for today's video because I recently made a purchase to further myself in this whole YouTube journey or something, whatever we want to call it. And I definitely wanted to share it with you guys because things are going to start looking a little different. So I went ahead and bought myself a new camera. This is the Canon Content Creator Kit. And I initially saw this on Catherine Manning's channel. It seemed like, once I seen it, it seemed like a good idea because I'm a beginner and it obviously is a kit, so it comes with a couple different things. And it wasn't super expensive because like I said, I'm in the very beginning of all of this. So I didn't want to, you know, cash out and I'm still trying to learn. First of all, this is the first like, real camera I've had. Like everything I do right now is on my phone. So this is the first real camera that I've had that, you know, has pieces and attachments and does a whole bunch of other things. I still gotta learn how to use the thing for real, but I definitely wanted to share this purchase with you guys. I was gonna unbox it with y'all, but I was really excited. There was, you know, a little drama behind this purchase. So when I got it, I was super excited. So when I watched her video, she actually got it from Target. When I went to go try to get it from Target, they were sold out in like our whole area. I ended up getting it from Best Buy. The price of it was at the same at both stores at $649.99, which like I said, for me was cool because some of these other cameras was like, 1300, 1500, 2400. I'm like, whoa, 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 bro. I'm not there yet. So this seems super reasonable. And from what I've seen and reviews I've seen on it and read about, it's super user friendly for somebody who's transitioning from their camera on their phone to wanting to use an actual camera. So I went ahead, made the purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys everything that came in the box. Okay, so the box is empty. Cause uh, like I said, I was excited, so. I took everything out. So with this kit, it comes with the EOS M200 mirrorless camera and the lens is a 15 to 45 zoom lens. I'm still learning terminology, so bear with me. It has a Canon tripod and it says Canon tripod grip HG100 TBR. I don't know what any of that means, but I know it has a detachable Bluetooth remote. And then it came with a 32 gigabyte SD memory card. So all of that came in the little box. I mean, I could, ain't no use for showing y'all the inside of the box because everything is out now. But to start, I have the camera. And what I'm gonna do is when I get done showing y'all everything, I'm actually gonna switch from my phone to the camera. And then we can obviously see what the difference is and the quality and stuff like that. Cause a lot of my friends and family have been telling me like when they watch my videos, she's like, okay, what are you shooting with? Because the quality looks really good. I'm like, bro, it's just my phone. But I know that there's going to be a considerable difference when I switch over. So I just don't want it to disrespect my phone. Like my phone ain't been doing me good. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't be that disrespectful. <laughs> but to start, I have the lens that the lens came in the box separate from the camera itself. So I had to attach it. I will try and take it off, but I kind of struggled getting it on and I'm not trying to take it off again. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just delete the lens on. <laughs> but then it has like all the zoom functions right there. So this is at 15 going to 45 and this thing turns, I don't know exactly why. Like I said, I'm I'm still trying to learn it all. I'm still trying to learn it all. It has the shutter button here and this turns too. And I think I read something about why it turns, but I have to go back and look. And then it has like the auto function button on this one here. I think it's just for pictures and then for recording. So there's three settings on here that you can turn to. I'm mainly going to be using it to record obviously and then the on and off button is here as well it has the little screen that i can flip up so obviously when i'm recording i can see myself and then there's the menu button the record button right here all these little functions and stuff i think like there's the flash button which i 
thing, the little flash thing is up here. Do I, uh, I think I gotta, yeah, I gotta turn it on to do the flash thing. But it pops out, I've actually seen it. I don't have the battery in it now because I'm charging it. But then there's the play button. So obviously when I wanna see what footage I've taken and play it, it pop pops up on the screen. Excuse my fingerprints, I've been pressing and doing a little, little bit of everything on here, trying to figure everything out. The battery goes in here, right here. Like I said, I have it charging right now. So when I switch, I'll have it charged already. If I push the screen out a little bit, the SD card goes in here. It's a little housing that goes in there. And I just push it out. My little SD card that it came with. That is the camera itself for the most part from what I know. And then they have little cords that you can attach to it to, you know, extract data off of it and stuff like that. I don't have, it didn't come with any of the cords, but I'm actually, I registered it and did all this stuff with downloading like the Canon app and stuff like that. And I can actually, I guess that's one of the features. It's uh, the way that you get image transfer is through an app and stuff like that. And it's super, super easy. So I'm going to, probably be doing that unless like I have to get a cord for some reason or transfer the data, which I might still get it just so I have the option to. The other stuff that it came with was the tripod. And this is the Bluetooth remote that it came with. I think I still have to set this up because there's a couple functions on here. I think it just zooms in and out. Of course, the shutter when you take a picture or start to record is on there. I don't know what that other button is. Like I said, I still got to figure out everything. But I think on here, it, I think this is where it might be the same functions as the top of the camera where if you want to take a picture versus record but like i said it's still i read it the legs on it come out so then it can be an actual tripod if i push this button it moves the head around and then this actually tightens it once i put, add the camera to it that's the tripod that it came with and then there's other pieces too that it came with like if I put this in between the tripod and the camera, it's like a mic stand. I'm not sure what this one is for. I have to remove it. It also came with these lenses, which I had to go back on the <laughs> website to see what I had. Cause one is, a, it says a lens cap E49. Oh, okay, so it's, <laughs> it says on the inside. So this is the lens dust cap and then the camera cover. Oh yeah, because when I first got the camera, like I said, the lens was detached. This was on the camera though. So when I took that off, I put the lens on. So this one, the lens dust cap, and this is the lens cap E49. So I think this, oh yeah, see, it goes, it goes on there while wow, it's on there. Okay, okay, I got it. Maybe I did. Oh yeah, I did. Ha <laughs> ha, I did. So that's all the stuff that it came with as far as like little attachments and accessories and stuff like that. And then of course the case for the SD card. So now that I've shown you everything about the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and make the switch from my phone to the camera. And then let me know in the comments if you see a big difference. I feel like I know there's gonna be a big difference. I just don't want it to be a disrespectful difference. Like my phone ain't been serving me right. Like I said earlier, like don't be disrespectful. I feel like it's gonna be disrespectful. So let me go ahead, insert the battery and then I'll be right back. All right. I am officially on the new camera and I can already tell that there's a huge difference, but that's what I bought it for. I get it. It seems like it's real easy to use. Like I said, it said, and a lot of people have said that it was really beginner friendly. I haven't changed really any of the settings on there because I still have to get into that, look into that kind of figure out what I want stuff to look like, stuff like that. So whatever settings that the camera generally comes with is what I have it on right now. Some of the other features that they were talking about that it had, well, one of the things I forgot is it also comes with a camera strap too. So it like hooks in on both sides and you can wear it around your neck. Cause you know, we got a real camera out here. <laughs> Let me see some of the other, I guess, big functions are that it's 24 megapixels. There's built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. And like I was talking about before, there's easy image transfer, which let me see if I can pull it up. So on the Canon camera connect, all this stuff is like attached. It's connected to my phone. So anything that I shoot on here, I can transfer to my phone, which would be easier for me to transfer to my laptop when I edit. And the other one they had me download 
I don't know, it was another Canon app that they had me download. I haven't really used that yet. I don't know if you can look, I gotta get used to this. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's nothing on the screen. It's just me trying to figure out how to use it all. Of course, the camera's black. I did see that there's a lot of different lenses I can use with it. So as I get more and more comfortable with shooting and recording and stuff like that, there's different lenses I can use for different purposes. This one does, I think right now I'm in 1080p. It does shoot in 4K, but then it I've seen that the range is different. So for sit down videos, I can probably shoot in 4K, but I probably wouldn't do it for vlogs and stuff like that because they get real close. Like it crops you real close and it's like, okay, that's weird. Like it's just my face, you can't see nothing new. It's literally <laughs> like I seen it in somebody's review and I'm like, yeah, that's weird. So vlogs will be in 1080p, <laughs> but I think I can do sit downs in 4K, but I still gotta figure out how to set all that up. Like I said, it came with the battery and the charger. I forgot, I, of course it comes with the charger. I think that's it for what, like the simple starter beginner stuff that I would need to know. And like I said, I'll be learning more and more as I go along and getting better. Cause it's, it's, it's gonna take a minute to get it used to it, get adjusted to it. Cause if I ain't, everybody know how to use their phone and stuff like that. And since I've started doing YouTube videos, I've learned how to kind of tweak and maneuver and do different things with my phone. And obviously when I edit and stuff like that, I'm starting to get better and better with editing. It definitely just come with time. But obviously now adding this piece to the puzzle will make it just a little bit better, a little bit, you know, more advanced and stuff like that. So, that being said, all of my content now, unless I have to switch or if a battery die, cause I gotta get used to that whole thing. All of my content now will be shot on my camera. I think, I think that's it for right now. I'm going to continue to play with the camera, get a little better at this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can, especially with me just learning, literally just getting the camera and trying to learn how to use it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Join me on my journey and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.